there, and welcome back to trying too hard to be funny and not being funny at all. Today, we're joined by a special guest, Super Ollie. Say hi, Soup Allo. Thanks for having me on, Skylar from the YouTube channel Happy Fun Time. It is I, Super Ollie, adding some spicy meme flavor up in here, up in here. Ah, yes, you like the fat beats too, I see. Well, why don't we hear you spit some of your own hot fire? You know, I'ma do that, cause my rapping's the best. I'ma hit you on the head with a bulletproof vest. Uh. Wow, is that the thing that firemen risk their lives every day to extinguish? Or is that just your mixtape? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we do have a video game review to get to, so why don't we wrap this up? <laughs> Oh my god, everyone likes me a lot! <laughs> Woodle Tree Adventures. The spectacular title of this game is obviously a pun double entendre joke. Woodle meaning a cutie way of saying whittle or little, but also woodle as in wood. And honestly, if this game were just a title alone, this game would be my most favorite game ever. Similar to my conception, the purchase of Woodle Tree Adventures was a catastrophic, drunken mistake. The game starts with the half-aborted fetus of a Degu tree being summoned directly from the ground and sent off on a quest to collect water for the world that is... very thirsty. Yes, indeed. But, first things first. Let's try to break the game! And it seems that I've immediately succeeded. Got the little tree guy flipping upside down. Look at him go. Wow. He's a little... He's a real wood stump, all right. Oh, now I'm inside. Let's do that little jumpy thing against the wall upside down and... Ah, yes, of course. I am, and with great ease, floating against the walls of this house upside down in a circle. And now I've fallen out the window. Camera won't follow me. And my character model is just bouncing upside down on his head outside. I'm 23 and what is this? G-O-T-F-F. -F. Game of the fucking forever. So you come into the first level and start to realize that this game seems a lot like some of those 3D Mario games. <laughs> Only without the... Uh, anything, I guess. Instead of coins that lead to a one-up, there's these little peach thingies that fill the grape on your back right up until it becomes twice the goddamn size of you. Instead of jumping on enemies, you weakly flail a flimsy leaf at them, which the range of it compared to your move speed towards them is... just, just not there. Leading to a very slow, inchy battle that <laughs> I still lose to sometimes. I'm not good at games, mostly. I die easy. I'm not qualified to talk about any game. And you can quote me on that. But besides the collecting and the combat, the platforming is platforming. You run sometimes, you jump sometimes. If you want to combine the two, who knows? Anything goes in Little Tree Adventures, the hypest, most out there game there is. In fact, it's the only game that features creepy trio monsters that I like to call Michael Burke. Michael Burke is my favorite character in this game because I kill the trio of Michaels very easily with my leaf of fucking flims. My strength is low, and yet they still fold my hand. My power is higher than that of an awful, shitty, horrible Michael Burks. Trash! It's trash! They're trash! So, all in all, I think this game is definitely worth having your friend get drunk and gift you for free. Speaking of which, I'm pretty sure this video is actually supposed to be some kind of collaboration video. <laughs> Ollie! Ollie! I'm pretending to be kicking you awake, Ollie, even though you're... You live in England or some other fucking fantasy made-up realm. Get up! Now I'm just gonna say this. I do not like this game. I played this game for a total of six minutes. Within those six minutes, I discovered the most boring gameplay ever. This whole game feels like it's being played in slow-mo. It just seems like a, a big old pile of trash. A giant trash mountain populated by tiny little trash people in their tiny little trash houses. I don't, I don't actually know where I'm going with this. All in all, to conclude my findings from the intensive research study experiment, I would like to say I purchased this game for 10 pence for not only myself, but for Skylar and 23 other Steam friends that I have. 
I would like those 10 pences back, along with the 6 minutes of my life I lost playing this. Skylar should I should end my part with a joke. So here's the biggest joke of them all. My life. The money you may find on a street corner somewhere, but the time you'll never have returned to you. But I absolutely agree. Your life is a bit of a joke. Anyway, Woodle Tree Adventures is something you never really even have to play ever. While it was a cute little thing that still exists, unfortunately, there's not much else that I care to talk about. Well, I do believe that I've been recording this game for about 30 minutes and have all the footage I'll care to show for my video, like any other video that I've made. Time to go write up the script, record the voiceovers, and edit the whole gosh dang thing together. Oh, wait. But this is a voiceover, and the video's already been uploaded. Because you're watching it. Huh. This is really meta. Well, that's one interesting way to end this cool collaboration. <laughs> what do you have to say about it, Ollie friend? Cool app? More like, fuck off, Skylar! <laughs> Thanks for watching the video, if you want to check me out, I'll be somewhere on this page, I don't know, I don't really make these things, that's up to Skylar, like, and I don't forget to check out more Skylar, maybe hit that little, uh, subscribe button, I don't know about you, if it's worth it, I'll do it, peace!